morning everyone this is going to be the first part in the new blender tutorials here on Gen Toots and as I stated before I'm not gonna uh, shy away from GIMP or anything like that uh, we're just gonna go into uh, some new things here and uh, like I stated before I think it's important to start learning at least a little bit of 3d um, to incorporate on incorporate into your uh, workflow so um, I'm starting off on a web page because blender has a uh, pie menu and I've been using uh, pie menus since 2 uh, 269 2.69 of uh, blender there's a uh, the guy that created them which of course is uh, the pie menus now and they added them in blender 2.72 I believe and uh, so they're pretty awesome and I like using the pie menus because blender has all kinds of crazy shortcuts and I think that's one of the biggest learning curves inside of uh, blender is the shortcuts trying to remember all the shortcuts and pie menus make it a little bit easier um, there's a lot less shortcuts that you have to remember now I don't use the default pie menus I use uh, this guy pity wazoo I don't know how to pronounce his name but uh, or at least the screen name on here but um, he's added all kinds of cool stuff um, more features than what you just get on the basic pie menus in blender because basically all the developers in blender did was um, just add to where you can use pie menus and then you could set them up um, set more up yourself but this guy's gone through and he's created all kinds of uh, cool ones now um, when you go through here you can read and if you want these um, you could download them I'm not saying that to use the pie menus but if you're just starting out I think it would uh, be easier and um, that's what I use instead of just the, the standard no pie menus and using all shortcut keys and stuff like that in Blender and a lot of people there, there's um, I don't know it's half and half with the people that use Blender they like them they don't like them so I mean it's totally up to you if you've been using Blender for a while um, then uh, you don't have to use them because the first few tutorials in uh, Blender of course is going to be uh, the tools, the add-ons, um, how to move around um, and all that good kind of stuff because these first parts are going to be based towards people that don't know nothing at all in Blender um, but like I said I'm just showing you guys this because these are what I'm going to be using in Blender and this is what I'm used to and like I said I've been using Pi Menus since 2.69 so um, yeah so I will leave this in the description below so you could go and download it and there is one more add-on um, that I will go into Blender and show you here in a minute um, it's for the pie menus but I can't seem to find it so um, I would just give you a download link to that because um, you could do that because yeah the I don't know something about blender or whatever that's I don't know you I, I could give it to you guys though so that's all you need to know but anyways so um, I'll leave a download for that and leave a link for you to come here so you could if you have any questions or you could read up and see everything that he's done and let's see is there anything else I don't remember so I'm gonna go ahead and open up blender now and when you open up blender your blender is not gonna look like this um, your blender if you go into file and then come down to user preferences this is where all your add-ons are that's one way to get to them or you could go over here and go to file or uh, you could click on this little 3d box down here and you could go into user preferences that way and they have different tabs you got your interface tab, your editing tab, your input tab, your add-ons tab, themes, file, and system. 
and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into input now blender's default um, selecting with is the right click and uh, that is totally weird for me I just I couldn't get used to it and I've been using blender for quite a while and I just I couldn't get used to it um, so they added a feature you just come over here and click on left click um, and then that way because if you're coming you know from GIMP or any Adobe products or anything like that it's gonna be weird so you just click on it left click and then you go down here where it says save user settings and you click that and next time you'll open up blender you won't have to do anything but if you don't click on save user settings and you exit out of it then when you open up blender you're gonna have to go through and do this all again so I'm gonna um, jump into the themes tab now and my theme is the graph one for one um, let's see I don't remember which one is the default blender uh, not that one I have a few whoa <laughs> different themes um, in here and I don't have the default one but anyways uh, you want to go to themes and you could change them here just they got a few of them when you uh, download blender they'll have a few of them in here and the one I have is the graph 1.41 and I will put a link in the description for you for that one and remember once you change your theme you'll want to click down save user settings um, maybe we will go into that real quick I will go in to uh, and here and let's look for uh, actually let's open up a new tab here and let's look for blender themes and here's the R theme uh, Sandman what is that I don't know what that is but we'll just go and we will download it real quick and I will show you how to install a theme and we'll just uh, minimize this and then just come drag and drop it to the desktop real quick and then we will go back into blender and what you want to do is you'll just want to go to install theme just click here and then go wherever you have your themes I keep uh, a documents file with all my blender files themes and all that stuff um, but I put that on desktop so what was the name of that cancel what was the name of that let's go to the desktop and let's right quick click and let's extract that real quick and it's Sandman so let's go back into blender and let's install theme and where's it at Sandman Sandman then it's an XML file you just want to click on there and then click install theme and whoa that looks funky we come back here and go back to the 3d view <laughs> Wow, <laughs> I really don't like that um, then go back here and then go back to user preferences and if you like the theme that you downloaded then just click save user settings but wow I really don't like that theme I'm more of a dark themes type of guy it's more easier on the eyes or at least for me it is um, so that's themes uh, basically so we just went and we downloaded a theme where's the internet browser there it is we downloaded a theme um, and this is uh, the blenderartist.org if you want to make you an account there there's a lot of cool people on there and you find themes and stuff like that 
um, so let's see. So we went over the uh, the input, the left uh, themes, change them here, and let's see what else do we have to do for now. Oh, okay, yes. If you have, um, which we're not going to get into any of this stuff, and I'll, I'll explain more later when we go to it. But um, right here, this compute device, if you have a uh, NVIDIA graphics card, um, you'll just click on CUDA, and then it'll select your graphics card. I got the 750 Ti. And let's see here. I think that is all for now. Um, we'll get into... Uh, actually, no, that's not all for now. We're getting to the add-ons now. Um, because you're going to need to know about these to follow along with me. So, you come back here uh, when you go to this page and you'll just click on the GitHub and um, if you have Windows uh, you could install the the GitHub uh, thing right here in the GitHub shell for Windows 8. Um, Anyways, so it's right here, and you'll just uh, you can click on the raw button, and then you'll just want to right click, and then save as, and then go to all files, and save this as a .py, which a, is a uh, Python file, and then hit save. But we're not going to do that. We'll just go back to the desktop because I already have it downloaded, and it is. Uh, where's it at? Me, I messed up. I didn't uh, do it. I saved it as a text document. So if you do do that and it saves as a text doc document, just open it in Notepad, Notepad++ or Sublime Text or Brackets or um, just the regular Notepad. It's totally up to you. Just like me, I uh, I did it wrong and I was going fast. So I just open it up in Sublime and then all you do is just file and then go to save as and uh, they have Python down here and then you can just put dot py here and save it or you could open it in your notepad file save as um, go to all files and then save it as a dot py that way it's totally up to you And then after you save that, you will have, um, actually, what did I just do that for? Oh, man. Sorry about that. File, save as, Python, dot py, save, and then... Uh, you'll have your Python file here. I have Python installed on my computer for uh, coding and websites and stuff like that. So that's the reason why mine looks like that. Yours probably won't look like that. It might if you have um, Python installed. Um, but that's how it looks like. And then what you want to do is you want to jump back into Blender. And then you'll just want to go to install file. And then go to wherever you installed it. And then you want to click on it, and then you just hit click install from file. And I'm not going to do that, but after you do that, it will pop up over here on this side, and it will tell you um, which add-on you just installed to go over here and tick it to turn it on. Um, but if it don't, all you got to do is just come in here and search for Pi. Oops, if you spell it right, Pi. And I have three different ones. I got the Pi menu add object and then the Pi menu officials and um, so this is how I got mine set up I I went through and I turned on the Pi menus official I turned that on first and then I went through and did the Wazoo Pi menus second and then I did the Pi add menu object but I could not figure out where I got this at I thought it was from Wazoo um, and it might have been maybe I just overlooked it um, but like I said, I will leave a download for that if you want to use it, and I will show you that uh, here in just a second. Um, and then you'll want to hit save user settings. Just like that. 
and then you could click back down here and go back into 3d view all right and now we're in the 3d viewport and now if you click on tab this is how you get to your different modes you got your edit mode sculpt mode uh, let's see other modes vertex paint tab of uh, oops tab other modes texture paint tab other modes weight paint tab other modes then you got particle edit but we don't have no particles right now so we'll just go back here and what's good about these pie menus is all you gotta do is just uh, click on tab real fast and move up oops make sure you click on the right thing or you could just click tab and then click on it it's totally up to you but once you get used to where everything is you just click once and move your mouse and it'll move to anything you want alrighty so that's tab and the reason why I used his uh, menus is because he added more than just what the default is in blender and I didn't have to use his but it, the code was already there so why try writing something yourself when somebody else has done it and it's for free so that's pretty awesome and so that's switching different modes so just tab uh, to go into edit mode and then when you're in edit mode you could just you can manipulate your objects that's how you manipulate your objects is in edit mode and then you can tab out in the audit object mode and let's see so that is going to different modes I'm going to just press control Z a few times to get out of that okay now everything's we're in vertex select mode by the way these little points on each edge or on each point I mean is a vertex and if you go to uh, shift tab hey, it changed I just re-downloaded his anyways uh, you could go to uh, control tab and you could switch between vertex vertex edge or face now we're in edge mode now to select the edges you press control tab again you'll be in face select and now you can just select the faces just like that drag them out if you want and like I said, this might be kind of uh, boring now because I'm just going over the modes real quick. And I'm going to put these in two parts to kind of make it shorter. And if you need to rewatch it and go over it again and get used to it again, it'll be a lot easier instead of uh, watching a hour long tutorial and then trying to go back. And if you didn't understand something, trying to find it and watch it, it's just easier when it's shorter. Um, so, yeah. okay and let's go ahead and hit tab tab and let's go back into object mode and then if you press control space you got your manipulator options you could uh, just take change it to translate which will be you can translate it on the y-axis x-axis or z-axis which basically means move it move it all right and then you can press control space again brings up your rotate tool let's tab and let's go in edit mode and I'll show you so you just bring that up to rotate it control Z go control space again and then you could uh, bring it for scale and then you could scale it the Z axis Y axis if you'd like to and there's your little sort of kind of flat screen TV <laughs> and go back to control tab and then go back to vertex I'm in vertex mode most of the time when I'm mo uh, modeling and then go back to control shift and then you can go back to translate and then you can see you can move that control Z that and then the next thing is manipulator and if you just 
when you get fast like I said you could just hold these and swipe real quick and it'll change um, and then it takes the manipulator off and don't freak out if this ever happens um, because I use this mode a lot because you could just press G and then press X and you can move it on that axis and you don't have that manipulator widget in your way because when you get a lot of vertices in here um, sometimes that manipulator it will get in your way especially if you're really zoomed in and you have a bunch and it's just like right there in your way um, and you can't click on nothing all you gotta do is just control shift get rid of the uh, manipulator and then hold down shift and click and you could select double vertices and then if you want to bring it back just uh, control shift just like that um, let's go back to tab and then go back into object mode uh, you could press control save or control save control s and that brings up this pie menu and it's for saving save as um, you do your incremental save um, you could open a new document or open a file from here uh, you could import or OBJ export or OBJ import SVX export SVX you could link append um, here's external data stuff I will be getting into all this stuff in future tutorials so don't worry if you don't know anything about this stuff um, because basically for right now all you need to know is where to and how to save your project so you can do that with control s or you could go into file and then save or save as and here's all your other options and stuff right here too alrighty and then if we go sh shift a this is where you add all your other objects and this is the other pi menu that I uh, was talking about that I have added um, and the reason why I added this is because it's just a lot easier and I think the the um, pie menus look better than the default because um, the default kind of looked something like this so if you just press shift A and we could go and we could click on mesh and then you have your UV sphere your icosphere your cube your cone um, let's go ahead and add uh, I don't know let's just add a sphere and then let's move this out of the way so you can see the sphere and so see we added a another sphere oh and I guess one thing that I forgot to mention was um, to zoom in is your mouse button it zooms you in scroll up zooms in scroll out zooms out to uh, rotate around your object um, just hold in your middle mouse button and move it around um, to uh, pan hold down shift and use your middle mouse button and let's see I think for today that is a lot of information and I think we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial there and we will come back into part two and um, I'm probably going to be up uploading these every day um, just these parts anyways until we get into real actual modeling um, and so let's go back over that one more time before I get off here so tab takes you into your edit object mode edit or object mode um, then you could also go into a, just your face select mode where you can select faces or you could go into vertex uh, you could go into your edge mode you got your other modes here that takes you into weight pane or texture paint or vertex paint or into your particle edit and we will get all into all this stuff uh, more here in the future um, just click tab and then go back to object mode and then we did shift a and this is where it adds you could add more meshes um, let's actually go over a little bit more on this and then you go this is a plane and I mean this is an empty and I will show you what these are used for later on in the
the future also. I'm just showing you the basics for right now. You could add a bone. This is what a bone looks like. With Shift A, um, you got your curve. So this is just like GIMP and stuff. It, uh, you got a, uh, well actually it's like the past tool. So if you go to a Bezier curve, um, you can manipulate it around just like a path because that's basically what it is. Um, let's go shift A. What's the other one? Others. You got your surface. You got more curves, a nerves curve, a nerve circle. Um, we got a meta ball. I don't never use these, uh, but we might get into to this a little bit later. Um, like I said, I don't never use these, so. Uh, I don't really find any use for them. Uh, you got your force fields. You got a wind, a vortex, a magnetic. Um, and like I said, I'll get into explaining all this more later in the future. You have a lattice, and then you could add a speaker for um, the game engine, because Blender has a game engine to make games. So that's pretty cool. Um, Shift A, you got your lamps. You got different ones. You got a Hemi. You got an area lamp, a point lamp, a sand, sun lamp, and a spot lamp. Um, they all have different uh, uses. And then let's go back to Shift A. And then you could add text. And let me go ahead and click on this. And to delete things, you just press the delete key. And then you could hit delete or um, like everybody, if you watch other Blender tutorials, they use X, so hit X and hit delete. Um, so X, delete, delete, X to the delete. Alrighty. And then let's go Shift A and you would hit text. And then I'll hit, I'll just show you that for now. And then you could go into edit, edit mode. And then you can just type in any text you want. So it's GIMP. Oops. Just like that. That's how you change the text. And then go back into object mode. There you have text. Um, I mean, you can do a whole lot more uh, than just that. I'm just showing you these menus for right now. So I just hit X and delete that. And I think that is all for... Oh no, and then you got your camera. So, with your camera, it adds in a new camera. And, but for now, I think that is all for this uh, tutorial. And then I will be back into part two because we are in about the 30 minute mark. And um, I will show you more about these pie menus and everything else like that. You could go ahead and play around with them if you'd like. Um, like I said, I didn't want to make these first couple of tutorials too complicated uh, on how to get around in Blender. So, please like and subscribe and have a great day. And I will see you on part two. Thank you.